Hello YouTube, this is a very special kind of surprise slash secret unboxing from APS. APS is known for making very nice AK series, M4 series, others, you know, all their guns have pneumatic blowback, almost like G&G. &G. Very, very nice. And they sent us this gun for review. And I've personally owned an APS AK-74 with the real wood and stamped steel in the past and I have to say it's a very very excellent gun it has the externals are absolutely wonderful the internals are pretty good there's room for upgrades but you know it's a it's a budget gun it's a very nice affordable price so I took the packaging off because this is the second time you know this is the third time I'm making this video because something always gets screwed up with my camera so yeah so the first time I did this video it took about a minute and a half to take off just this wrapping with one hand so I went ahead and saved you that minute and a half so you can you know partake in your favorite activities for a minute and a half and not waste your time watching me take off the bag right, noticing the box very very nice flashy packaging shows you that they actually put a lot of time and money into just the packaging which is very nice to see from a company this is one of their um, M4 series guns, you know, CQB looks like ASR 107. Here is the APS logo, logo, accuracy pneumatics shooting, pretty badass name. Let me take off the box. Okay, here is a great piece of cardboard. Ooh, they sent us a lot of stuff. Okay, this looks okay. Here's some very nice goggles. Hopefully, these are ANS Z whatever the numbers are rated. They feel very sturdy actually, very nice. A Hakatsu. Well, one thing I forgot to mention, APS is also Javelin Gunworks and Hakatsu. Hakatsu is known for making their Thunder B series flashbangs and the Iron Faces. I can't wait to try this out. This should be really cool. Let's hope it's going to be fun to review. Alright, looking at the gun. What is this? I have no idea what this is. It's like a bungee cord. Is, I guess it's a sling. I don't know. Alright, let's just say that's a sling for now. Here is a very interesting style M4 stock. Pretty cool, actually. Definitely different. Nice. Ooh, very nice metal body. Ooh, this is really nice. As far as I know, this is all functioning. All the moving parts close to the real steel M4 series. Because of the nice Tango Down um, hand grip. Very nice rail system, full metal, as well as nice iron sights. What's this? This is weird. Uh, this looks like kind of like a silencer slash compensator built in. Also metal, very nice, as well as a cleaning on jamming rod. And this accessories box looks very overstuffed. And this is a player package they sent us. I'm not sure if this comes with the regular series guns. Maybe they'll have like you know um, a new like extra cost extra, but they give you more stuff. So. Oh, a lipo. Ultra lipo. 15 cell discharge rate. Alright, 7.4 1100 milliamps. So this gun, judging by that lipo that they gave us, I'm pretty sure this is rear-wired. Rear-wired. Because that looks like it's going to fit into a buffer too, but I'll get back to you on that. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, very nice lipo charger. This looks very nice quality. A pack of BBs. These are APS BBs, but APS also makes... They also... Uh, you know, them and Javelin are the same company, and Javelin's a very good um, manufacturer of BBs. I have a bag myself. Never had any problems with them. Looks like a high-capacity magazine. Full metal. Very, very nice. This actually kind of reminds me of a nice KWA M4 magazine. Very nice. Uh, looks like little etchings at the bottom. APS mil spec. Very nice magazine. The gray will look great with that black. Alright, so, not sure how to take this off. Looks like there's a piece of cardboard here. Let's, yes. Um, please bear with me here. I'm a little bit. Alright. Okay. Sneaky cardboard. Oh, this has a very nice heft to it. Right, let's see the front. Ooh, very nice. Nice APS trades. Um, actually, I want to try something. All 
Alright, this, the bolt catch release, I forget what it's called. That's not functional, but that's still pretty cool. Very, very nice heft to this gun. Um, nice iron sights. Actually, you know what? This, we'll save the, all the gun specs and everything for the uh, re actual review. This is just the unboxing. Also comes with a nice manual and the manual for the goggles. Alright, this is it, YouTube. This mini is running around 5 minutes and 30 seconds. A little bit longer. Longer for uh, an unboxing video, but very cool gun. Hope we're going to get the review it soon. So stay tuned for that.